Hi everyone, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's Adobe Premiere CC tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basic ways you can do video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So today we're going to be using some footage that I acquired from Videoblocks in addition to footage that I shot myself. Uh, Videoblocks is a great site if you haven't checked it out yet. You can get amazing stock footage for both uh, video, After Effects templates, and all kinds of stuff with motion graphics using video blocks and have an unlimited usage and license to those so that is very cool and they are actually today's sponsors I'm also going to use background music that I got from audio blocks their partner site so I have links for a seven day free trial in the description below so make sure you're checking that out you do have to enter your credit card information and if you don't cancel by day seven it does go into an automatic subscription period so make sure that you check on that and that you don't go into the subscription period if you don't want to. So let me go ahead and just show you very quickly what I'm gonna be creating. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage that I've already edited so you get a sense of how I put it together. Okay, so you've seen the finished product now. It's a 16 second video where I used a couple of clips, did some editing, and I did transitions to bookend it, fading it in and fading it out. I also did fading on the audio so that it matches up. I'm gonna walk you through how I did all of that and put together this short clip for you. So the first piece we need is our time lapse. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna come up here in the source monitor and we're gonna be able to set our in points and out points for this and go ahead and put it on the timeline. Now I've already established the in points and out points using the mark in and mark out here. You can use shortcut I for in, shortcut O for out and that's going to make it simple for you. What I'm going to do is I only want the video footage. I don't need any background audio or noise so I'm going to drag video only and bring that onto the timeline. Now, because this stock footage from video blocks is a little different than what was shot in my camera, I don't want to change the sequence settings. I want to keep the sequence settings the same. Uh, the way I set up the sequence was I used the footage of Malcolm and I right clicked and cl put new sequence from clip. So that's how I like to do it to make sure that the sequence settings here match up the video footage out of my camera. I don't necessarily need it to sync up with the stuff from video blocks. I'm using more footage from my camera so that's why I did it. So the next thing I would do is I need Malcolm's scene. So again, I've already established in and out points here. Let's say I just drag the whole thing because let's say I wanted the audio and the video. I would get that here. But let's say I changed my mind because all I've really got is wind static in this footage of Malcolm and the noise is like too much. So I'm gonna click unlink here by right clicking. I'm gonna delete the audio track and that's just as good as if I had drag the video only right here. Uh, it's an extra step, but I wanna show you how to do that in case you need to do it yourself. So we have that. Next, and I think I have the order for this right, we're going to do the sequences of John. And I believe that it starts with this one, which I'm gonna go ahead and drag down here onto the timeline. And then next, we have a shot of him with the uh, keyboard here as a close-up. So, I can either drag that directly onto the timeline, then select Unlink, and I can delete that footage, again, if I wanted to do that manually. Understand that you can go ahead and you know put your stuff here from the timeline. But let's say I wanted a little more footage of that. If I want just a little longer, I can just go ahead and drag the sequence out like that and it'll become longer. If I felt I want it shorter, I can just click on the end here and I will trim the sequence that way. And that's how you do basic trim work here in Premiere Pro. I can also trim from the beginning if I want that to start a little later. Then I could right click on that missing space and hit ripple delete. So that's another basic editing trick you can use. So we've got John here on the keyboard. We need another close up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use, um, let's see, this one is the one we had before. So we're going to drag video only 
And so now we've got that sequence that we had set up. And now we just need the last sequence of the computer screen here. So we'll drag that and then end with the um, frontal shot of John working on the MacBook Pro here. And that's the end of that. So now we've got our basic sequence that we've already shot and that's good to go. So this is all set and now we just need to start adding in our transitions. So we're gonna go ahead and go to video transitions over here. If you don't see that you can get in the effects panel by going to window we're going to go ahead and use dip to black we're going to place that here in the beginning and we're going to place it here at the end and you can see that's a smooth transition fading in from black and that is how we do transitions now we could do transitions in between these as well what if we wanted to do a crossfade effect instead of a jump cut well, we could. We can go ahead and we could crossfade. If we want that crossfade to be a little shorter, we can just tighten it up here. It'll become a shorter crossfade. So that actually feels pretty comfortable. So we'll leave that in because maybe that crossfade feels good transitioning from scene to scene. And maybe we decide we want to crossfade here with uh, Malcolm as well as we transition from our establishing shot. So let's go ahead and see if that does anything interesting for us. All right, so we see that crossfade works really well for us. We like that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep those edits in place. We basically edited our whole scene here, but it doesn't have any music. We need something that's gonna set the tone. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our audio bin here where I've already selected an audio track from audio blocks and we're just going to drag that onto our timeline. Now, immediately, there's a problem. This audio track is three minutes long, and we only have about a 15-second clip. So we're just going to take the razor tool with shortcut C, and we're going to cut that clip, use our selection tool, and delete the rest that we don't need. And now, we have an audio track to go behind our video. But you notice that the audio track ends abruptly. So we need to go to our audio transitions here, and we're going to take exponential fade, and that's going to help us match that up to our video fading out. And we're just going to drag it to match here, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to play from the beginning, and you're going to notice a difference. All right, and that worked out really well. So by using B-roll footage from video blocks to establish our scene and bring it in from that aerial scene that we couldn't have done on a budget otherwise, and then by using some simple edits with crossfades and you know using our transitional shots and a little bit of background music to set the tone, we've got something really nice and interesting here and it didn't take us a lot of work or effort at all. This is all basic editing that you can do in Premiere Pro, and even for something simple like this, you can make it really nice and elegant by just using the tools properly. These are most of the tools that you'll use in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are more complicated tutorials that I'll do in the future, and I do have a more in-depth tutorial, but if you just need the basics of video editing so you can do YouTube videos or you know simple commercials or even family videos, then this will actually help you out tremendously. I want to thank Videoblocks and Audioblocks for sponsoring today's tutorial and for also providing me with the footage that I used for this project. I'm going to actually be incorporating them a lot more into my other tutorial videos and my own personal projects, so make sure you're subscribed to get those in the future.
Don't forget that you can also try out a seven day free trial using the links in the description below for video blocks and audio blocks. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Premiere Pro CC tutorial on basic video editing. Of course, if you have questions, definitely leave those in the comment section below, and I'll answer as many of them as I can. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.